CHA has one of their most robust pharmacotherapy services in New England, and the pharmacists here at CHA are actually considered part of the medical staff. Pharmacists are taking care of chronic conditions such as diabetes, COPD, and they work with patients in a different way than medically trained physicians do, and even in a different way than our nurses or behaviorists do. We actually work under a collaborative practice agreement, and by doing this, we're able to function and do some tasks that require a co-signature from a provider. So some of these things might include ordering medications, changing medication doses, ordering labs. And so we have the ability to do those things and the primary care doctor oversees all of that. If a patient really can't afford their medicine, they're not gonna take the medicine that they need. And that's something that the pharmacists not only ask about, but have interventions, have tools. So the pharmacists can help us determine which drugs can be obtained for less money at the hospital pharmacy instead of at a commercial pharmacy. Or they're aware of programs that the pharmaceutical manufacturers offer to support patients who can't afford their drugs. We know that the patients really enjoy having their pharmacist that they can see and ask any question to, even questions that they may not feel comfortable asking their physician. And so that partnership between physicians and pharmacists allows a greater segment of the population to be cared for and a greater segment of the population to have access to the pharmacy services. We know that if we provide all the services the patient needs, we have the best chance of preventing or delaying the complications of chronic disease.